Hey guys, it's Anthony with The Rag Company, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can dry entire Ford Raptor with one towel. But first, before we get into that, we actually have to wash this Ford Raptor. It is absolutely filthy. Some of you may recognize this from our Wash Wednesday that we did with my friend Alex. She is currently out of town on vacation, and I thought, be a good friend and clean this up for her. So Levi is chomping at the bit over here with the hose and he's ready to go. Let's get this thing clean. Alright guys, so we just finished rinsing the truck and now it is time to dry this thing. So like I said before, we're going to be drying this with one towel, no tricks, no sorcery here. We're not going to be using a drying aid or any type of blower. I'm jumping straight into the drying process starting now. Morgan, tell me. Now, we're going to transition to this camera right here so you know there's not going to be any tricks. So let's get this thing done. So I'm going to be starting on these side panels first and then focusing on the larger bodies of water to make the most use of this towel. I don't want to soak this towel right off the bat by throwing it on the hood or the roof. So I'm going to do all the side panels first and just kind of blow through these as quick as possible because I don't want this water drying. Now the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to save the windows towards the last because typically I'll go over the windows again with a glass cleaner or a glass towel at the very end just to provide a streak-free finish, but I will still absorb the water as I'm doing it. Sides, almost done. I gotta wrap around to that front there. Keep it going. This towel still has plenty of life left. Over the back of the truck. I'm gonna get all the paintwork first before I jump into the lower panels. Towel is getting wet. You can see it's getting wet, but still probably at around its halfway point. Still got plenty to go. Going out to this front fender here this is kind of where it started back there on that passenger or that driver's side door. Come back around here, knock out all this, and just for so people know. Any area that I'm hit, it's just absorbing immediately. So it's not like I'm pushing around water. This right here, squeaky clean, it's dry. It's more about the technique is, I mean, that's really how you're gonna get the most out of a towel. Like I said, I'm not gonna just go throw the towel into a big puddle of water. It works best when it's damp. So starting on the sides of the vehicle, it's always in your best interest, unless you have direct sunlight sitting on the surface. I'm going to do a drag dry, drying that whole raptor portion right there, making it really easy, and then coming back around. Just for reference, this is the size of the twist and shout on the hood of raptor. Cool, keep it going. So, that is dry, like I said, squeaky clean. Now what I'm gonna do, just so I don't want any water spots, I'm gonna knock out the windows before I get to the roof. Glass here, inside, and go around the other side. Gonna fill the towel, Dane. It's uh, it's it's not wet. It's damp. It's damp. It's yeah. damp. It's damp. It's uh, it actually feels like it's still got a ways to go though. It's it still definitely does. So again, am I worried about streaks right now? No, not really, because I would typically go over with a glass cleaner and a glass specific towel after I'm done. I'm just wanting to get the all that uh, major bodies of water absorbed. Well, and normally like we would use like a drying aid. Yeah. But in this case, we're just trying to prove that the towel on its own can do this. Yep. 
So I'm obviously not going to be drying the bed of the truck. That oh, be, uh... that doesn't count then. Oh, what a hack. So we'll get these back <laughs> windows here. And now, Dane, if you'd like to come up here, I'm going to show you. These are basically water pockets here. Ooh. You can see when I shake the truck, oh, how much water. That. How much yeah. leftover water sitting there? We've got a bunch of little pools waiting so for you. So let's see what this damp towel can still do. So drag dry method, still going about the same way. I'm gonna try to um, push some of this water off because as just a, it's a ton that got substantially wetter there. So now little damp, little damp there, but it's not wet. That's not. That's not. Yeah. So, again, this is a Ford Raptor, not a Camry or anything. So this is still a pretty big vehicle. That's so, a super crew. It's got four doors. So right now, towel's not dripping. I try to, <laughs> nothing, nothing. It's <laughs> coming out. It's still got a ways to go then. There we go. Ah. Right towards the middle there. So still got a ways to go. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop down here so I can get, Dane, you can stay up here. I'm just oh. gonna jump over here to yeah. get that front. Okay. And once again, at this point, if someone doesn't want to, you know, smear or whatever, use a drying aid. Yeah, a drying aid would definitely help with this. We're just trying to show you how to do it raw. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> right so, feeling pretty smooth there. Yeah. No, that is, uh, that is about as dry as you can make it without a drying aid. So Dane's using the like same that. towel in the here. whole thing. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do last. So, basically at this point, towel is at this point I would say it's wet saturated it is, it is wet I mean but when I touch it my hands aren't soaking right it's still relatively dry so what I'm gonna do now as the finishing touches go around for all the trim work and the bumper stuff just to make the most of the of the rest of what's left you could get your sides right here those are pretty dirty still so I don't really want to ruin this nice towel drop it there I don't want to ruin that nice towel but for things like up here. I think the front bumper is pretty much it. So I'll just get this uh, already pretty dry. So I'm just kind of spreading in a little water here, but that looks pretty dang good to me. I don't really see any other, uh, other than contamination. I think that looks pretty good. So guys, I think that's it. I think that's, how you can dry an entire Ford Raptor uh, with one tap? No. What? That may be good. Yeah. But what I was wondering is if you could just get this whole truck wet again and maybe uh, use this towel. Oh. It's like uh, medieval times, like I'm throwing down the gauntlet. It's a challenge. So you're, you're throwing a smaller towel at me, asking me if I can dry it again with just that towel. Yeah. But that's in comparison to this size of a towel. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not about size, it's how you use it. I think a wise man once told me that. So um, so you want me to get the car wet again. Do you want to dry it this time? No, no, I okay. want you to dry it. I'll get it wet. That's not a problem. <laughs> you can dry it. I have my work really cut out for me here today, guys. So I just want to see if you can do it. You keep, you've been touting the office. Oh, I can dry a whole car, a big truck, one towel. I got a big truck. This towel. I want to see you do it with this one. Fine, do it. Spray it Double down. Double twist this. Spray it down. No tricks. Keep it running, Dane. You heard it here first, folks. I, I don't know. I actually don't even know if this is possible. I had a lot of confidence in the twist and shell, and so at this point, I'm just. I don't, I don't know. The double twistress, you gotta remember, is two twist and shouts basically cut in half and sewn together. So you've got. Technically, a double towel there. You've got. So, I'm not think, happy about this, but I I'm gonna do it. Can, I think we can do it. Okay. Okay. First of all, let's prove he got it wet. So I'm it's getting wet. up closer. It's the whole wet. Truck again. It's all wet again. Yeah. The only thing I didn't do was the wheels. Yeah. It's wet over here too. It's wet all the way around. Yep. Nope. Okay. Levi did shoot it with a hose. All right. Same method. We're going in at the sides. Let's do this. All right. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm doing this again. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, one of the great things about that towel is if you don't like having the big towel and you don't want to drag it on the sides, the double twist double twistress works really great for that because it is much more compact. Hey, Ty, are you sure you don't want to get in on this? Yeah, I'm okay. And then it'll be two towels. Oh. Yeah, good point. The, the whole point is that it's one. It's one towel, one man. If you can do this, I'll buy you lunch. Okay. That's a good deal. We all know Anthony loves food, so. They do. So, <clears throat> this side is... Levi, yeah. can you confirm? Yeah, no, that's dry. That's dry? I want to see you get the other side done, though. And then you still got the glass. Yes. Well, right. that comes last. How's the saturation level? So far, so I've done about half the truck so far, right? That's what we're looking like. Dean, feel it? Yeah. Let me still see feels, from the other side here, because I got to light it a little better. There we go. Still feels pretty dry. Yeah. So, I have confidence at this point. I'll let you know here in a minute. Am I getting tired? Yes, I am getting extremely tired. But this should prove this <laughs> should prove that these towels absorb. It's the last thing I do. Please. <laughs> I will get free lunch, Dean. <laughs> Hood, hood, hood. Yeah, top of the hood. And this is wet. This is definitely wet. Okay. Yeah, definitely wet. Drag drive, flip. Now, in total fairness, you can't be expected to go in between every little grid on the I don't grill. Got I don't got time for that, Dan. I wish I did. <laughs> We're basically doing drying with the towel raw, but if you want the best experience drying, try and use a drying aid. Yep. This is simply to prove a point, but this is like, you know, a drying aid would make this, you know, twice as easy. Yes. Oh, absolutely. And feel better and smell better. Right. Is this a plug for bead maker? It might be. <laughs> Alright, so here, last, all I have left, dry the entire vehicle except for the very lower bumpers here. All I have left is that back window, then the top of the Raptor. Dane, towel check. Huh? It's damp. It's damp. It's damp. It's damp for sure. Let's see if we can wring anything out. That's the thing. You have less surface area with this towel than the twist and shot. However, you have more material density. So, yeah. I'm trying to in between, it's holding more, but... The actual surface area is going to be wet all the way around compared to the other. Levi, how you, how you enjoying over there? Oh, it's nice. Good weather. Nice breeze. Took a picture, posted on Instagram. Oh, good. <laughs> okay, all right. That's still back, my favorite sticker. Back window's done. This is wet. Yes, we got the pools again. Got the pools of water again. This is going to be probably the end of the life for this towel once I start this. So. Mm. But everything else is done. Everything else is done. Fill, fill the sides. Are they dry? No, it's dry. It's totally dry. I knew you, I knew it could do it. Oh, you just wanted me to do it twice. Yeah. Nice guy. Thanks. But look, if you, could, if you couldn't do it, then you could buy me lunch. What? I didn't agree to that. <laughs> okay, so I'm just drag the drying it have now. Been raised. <laughs> Ooh, even better than raising the steaks, braising the steaks. Oh. Make them by dinner. Oh, braise, braise what? The steaks. This a, is becoming an expensive. A braising of the yeah, steaks. I like that. Yeah. I realized this was a thing. <laughs> it wasn't until just now. He was the one that he was the one that was doubting me. You just wanted to scare him. I knew that the towel could dry this whole truck. Legit. All right, Dane. Bumpers, that's all that's left. All right, let me hop down. Towel check. Towel check. Woo. That is, it's wet. That is damp. It's wet. And right it in there. Yeah, you got out. some coming out. All right. No, oh, that is totally 
Oh, yeah, great sound. That and this is, is why you use a drying aid. That is, that is definitely dry. That's it. That's it. All right, let's get back to the main camera and finish this thing out. All right, guys, and there it is. How to dry a Ford Raptor with one towel twice. Yeah, I did, I did it twice. Just to prove a point and just to get some free lunch and it's gonna work out just fine for me. Jimmy John's? Yeah, we can do that. All right, sounds good. So guys, hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully this showed you just how absorbent the twist pile weaves are from the rag company. Whether it be the twist and shout or the double twistress, they're fantastic towels. We still have some uh, protection to add to this thing, so we're gonna do that here in a minute. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like this video, make sure you give us a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more, and stay tuned for more videos right here at the Rag Company. See ya.